Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Karnan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalangim Engineering College, Kovil Unni. I am happy to meet you again in the solution and discussion on UPSC Engineering Service Exam, Mechanical Engineering Questions. This is lecture number 35. We solve few questions in the topic Fluid Statics. The first question from 2016 question paper, consider the following statements. The increase in metacentric height increases stability, decreases stability, increases the comfort for the passenger in a ship, decreases comfort for the passenger in a ship. So, which of the above statements are correct? So, there are combination 1 and 3, 1 and 4, 2 and 3 and 2 and 4. The correct option is 1 and 4. So, increase, increase, increases stability, decreases comfort of the passenger in a sleep. That is the correct option for increase in metacentric height. The next question from 2016 question paper, a solid body of specific gravity 0 0.5 is 10 meter long and 3 meter wide and 2 meter high. When it floats in water with its shortest edge vertical, its metacentric height is. We have four options here. The correct option is 0 0.25 meter. The metacentric height is 2, 0 0.25 meter. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, this is the body of height 2 meter, uh, length 3 meter. So, the height of immersion of the solid water, this is, this you calculate equating the buoyancy force and weight of the solid. So, the buoyancy force equal to rho w a h into g. Weight of the solid is rho s, density of the solid a into 2 into g. That is 2 meter height into g. So, simplifying rho w equal to 1, area is getting cancelled, g is getting cancelled, h this is equal to 0 0.5 into 2 equal to 1. The height of immersion is 1 meter. So, this height is 1 meter from the height of the object. Distance a b. So, a is the base, b is the center of the and distance between a b is the from the base the distance of buoyancy is h by 2 which is 0 0.5 distance a g equal to 1 meter. So, the height is 2 meter, the center g is 1 meter. The distance b g is equal to a g minus a b equal to 1 minus 0.5 equal to 0 0.5, volume of the body immersed. So, v equal to 3 into 10 into h. So, 3 is the base, 10 is the length and the h is the height. So, 3 into 10 into 1 equal to 30 meter cube. Moment of inertia of the solid equal to I equal to 10 into 10 into 3 to the power 3 divided by 12 B cube uh, B H cube divided by 12. So 22.5 meter cube. So metacentric height GM equal to moment of inertia divided by the volume of the body immersed minus B G. So 22.5 divided by 30 minus 0 0.5 equal to 0 0.25 meter. That is the answer metacentric height. The next question from 2016 question paper, consider the following statements pertaining to the metacentric height of uh, ocean going vessels. 1. Increase in the metacentric height reduces the period of roll. 2. Some control of period of roll is possible if cargo is placed further from the, the center of center line of the ship. Third point, in warship and racing yachts, metacentric height will be larger than the other set, other category of ship option bo, uh, statement four for ocean going vessel metacentric height is of the order of 12, 30 centimeter to 120 centimeter which of the above statements are correct all the four statements are correct regarding metacentric height of ocean going vessels the next question from 2017 question paper consider the following statements pertaining to the stability of the floating body Statement 1, a floating body will be stable when the center of gravity is above the center of buoyancy. Statement 2, the position of the meta center corresponding to the different axis of rotation are generally different for, different for the same floating object. Option 3, statement 3, for cargo ship, meta center height varies with the loading. So, which of the above statements are correct? So, statement 2 and 3, they are correct. The floating body will be stable when the center of gravity above the center of buoyancy, statement 1, which is wrong, other two statements are correct. The next question from 2018 question paper, statement 1, 
if your boat built with a sheet metal on wooden frame has an average density which is greater than that of water then the boat can float in water with its hollow face upward but will sink when it is when it overturns statement 2 buoyant forces always act on the upward direction select the correct option correct answer from the three four options given here so the two statements are individually true the two statements given in the question individually true but the statement 2 is not the correct explanation for the statement 1 the next question from 2019 question paper a spherical balloon of 1.5 meter diameter is completely immersed in water and the chain to the bottom if the chain has a tension of 10 kilo newton weight of the balloon will be nearly we have four options here we calculate weight of the balloon equal to w equal to fb minus 10000 so the w equal to rho g into volume of the water displaced so rho is 1000 g is 9.81 volume of the water displaced is 4 by 3 pi into 0.75 to the power 3 minus 10000 so 10000 the tension on the chain so w equal to 733 733.5 newton which is 7.33 kilo newton so the answer is 7.33 kilo newton so if the chain the weight of the balloon is 7.33 kilo newton Next question from 2020 question paper, a stone weighs 400 Newton in air, when it is immersed in water it weighs 225 Newton. If the specific gravity of water is 9810 Newtons per meter cube, the relative density of the stone will be nearly. We have to calculate from the given data. Weight of the stone in the air is 400, which is equal to rho s v into g. Rho s is the density of the stone material. V is the volume, G is the acceleration due to gravity. So, density of the stone, rho s equal to 40 by volume. So, you take G equal to 10, acceleration due to gravity equal to 10, so 40 by volume. Weight of the stone in the water, it is 225, it is given as 225 equal to weight, of, weight in the air minus buoyancy force upon the stone. So, this is weight in air is 400, buoyancy force is rho w v into G. So, rho w v into g equal to 175. So, 225 equal to 400 minus rho w into v into g. So, rho w v into g equal to 175. Rho w equal to 17.83 v. Now, specific gravity of the stone, this equal to rho s by rho w. So, rho s already we calculated 40 by v. Rho w equal to 17.83 divided by v. So, v by 17.83 multiply by v by 17.83. So, v is getting cancelled. So, the specific gravity of the stone rho s by rho w equal to 2.24. So, the answer is 2.3. The next question from 2015 question paper. What is the specific gravity of a marble stone which weigh 400, meter in air, 400 newton in air and 200 newton in water? You take g equal to 10 meter per second square. So, the same type of problem. Weight of the stone in the air 400 which is equal to rho s v into g density of the stone equal to 40 by v weight of the water weight of the stone in the water so which is 200 equal to weight in air minus buoyancy force upon the stone so 200 equal to 400 minus rho w into vg so rho w vg equal to 200 so rho w equal to 20 by v so specific gravity of the stone equal to rho s by rho w equal to 40 by v into v by 20 equal to 2 so the answer is 2 the next question from 2021 question paper a submerged body is in unstable equilibrium, then the center of buoyancy is below the center of gravity, the center of buoyancy is above the center of gravity, meta center is below the center of buoyancy, meta center is above the center of buoyancy. So, this is the unstable equilibrium. So, the center of gravity above the buoyancy, center of buoyancy. So, the correct option is center of buoyancy is below the center of gravity. So, center of buoyancy is below the center of gravity. That is the answer correct option the next question from 2021 question paper how much concrete with a specific weight 25 kilometers per meter cube must be attached to a beam having volume of 0 0.5 0 0.1 meter cube and specific gravity 0 0.6 to cause both the sink in the water you take g equal to 9.81 meter by second square so the answer we calculate the answer buoyancy force equal to weight of the concrete plus weight of the beam 
So, buoyancy force equal to rho w g into weight of the concrete plus weight of the beam. Total volume, sorry, volume of the concrete plus volume of the beam. That is equal to weight of the concrete equal to specific weight into volume of the concrete and the weight of the beam equal to rho b g into v b. So, rho b b equal to specific weight. So, this is 1000, rho w is 1000, 9.81 v c plus 0 0.1. So, weight of the beam equal to 0.1 meter cube is equal to 25,000 into Vc, weight of the concrete plus 600 into 9.81 into 0.1. So, in the left hand side is 9810 Vc plus 981 equal to 25,000 Vc plus 588.6. So, Vc equal to 0.0258 meter cube. So, weight of the concrete equal to 0 0.0258 into 25 equal to 0, 0 0.645 kilo newton. The answer is 0 0.645 kilo newton. The next question from 2022 question paper. A body of dimension 1.5 meter by 1 meter and 2 meter weigh 1962 newton in water. What is the weight of the body in air? Take acceleration due to gravity as 9.81 meter per second square. So, weight in water equal to weight in air minus buoyancy force. So, weight in air equal to 1962 weight in water plus buoyancy force. So, rho w v into g. So, 1962 plus 1000 into 1.5 into 1 into 2 into 9.81 equal to 3139 to Newton. So, the answer is 3139 to Newton. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject and I upload the video lectures of all the subjects in the YouTube channel. You subscribe to the channel, use the videos for your better preparation and you can refer to the book Fluid Mechanics and Machinery for theoretical concept of the fluid static. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. So, if you got any queries, you contact me. We will meet again in another video lecture on the solution for UPSC engineering series exam question paper. Until then, bye.